the inferior surface of the cerebellum here, the uh, frontal loop, this is frontal pole, this is the temporal, temporal loop, pole, and an occiput with the occipital pole. There is no uh, surface uh, inferior appear here for the parietal loop. The parietal loop more superiorly and lateral. The frontal one, the frontal uh, the inferior surface of the frontal loop here. This is the striate uh, gyrus, or what is called rectus gyrus here. From the uh, false cerebri, our median longitudinal fissure to the olfactory sulcus. Here, the olfactory sulcus. The olfactory sulcus containing olfactory bulb, olfactory tract, this one, and this, the lateral olfactory striate ending with olfactory area of the temporal uh, loop. This part of the uh, frontal remaining one is the orbital gyrus and orbital sulcus. This is the orbital sulcus. We have in two orbital sulcus and two orbital gyrus. Here, two orbital gyrus and two orbital sulcus. Temporal, here the area more lateral to the mammillary body is called the uncus, which is the recurved uh, anterior end of the parahippocampus. Here, the area is the uncus. Containing more posteriorly is the parahippocampus. The parahippocampus. The anterior sulcus here is the rhinal sulcus, and more posteriorly is the collateral sulcus. This area that's separating from the inferior temporal uh, gyrus and the parahippocampus, what is called the fusiform area. Fusiform area or parieto occipital area and separating the sulcus that separate the fusiform area from the inferior temporal uh, gyrus is the parieto occipital sulcus. Here, the parieto occipital sulcus. While the posterior, uh, while the inferior surface of the occiput is limited or covered by the cerebellum. Here, the cerebellum. That's it.